So before we start worship, I would just want to share a verse from Psalms 47. Oh no, let's start with Matthew 28, verse 6. So it is the, you know, we know the story in Matthew 28 from verse 1 to 6. Yeah, it was the about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But in... In verse 6, well, let's specify here in verse 6, it says, He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as how, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. And on the day of the resurrection, I believe it's uh, it's not just Jesus who rose from the dead. Death was also buried on that day. Death was defeated. And life was given to those who believe in his name. And those who believe that Jesus is risen from the dead, they celebrated. I remember Mary Magdalene was she was running, you know, towards the disciples, and they were like, No, it's impossible that he rose from the dead. And, she, and Jesus showed them that nothing is impossible with God. That he is indeed alive. And I believe every day God is also showing us that indeed he is alive. And I believe each of us here believes that Jesus rose from the dead. Amen? And that we are saved. Amen? And that means it's a cause for celebration every day. And then in Psalms 47 verse 1 it says, Psalms 47 verse 1 How should we celebrate? Celebration means festivities. I came from the Philippines and we have loads of festivities. Have you seen someone frowning on a festival? Have you seen someone frowning on his or her own birthday? Have you seen someone frowning on a depressed sad? Have you seen someone um, shrugging shoulders when there's good news? When we celebrate, what do we do? We dance, we eat, we sing, we laugh, we talk. So when we celebrate in the presence of the Lord, this is what we should do. It says, come everyone, clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise. So I believe if every if each and every one of you today believes that you are saved and that Jesus rose from the dead and has saved you from your sin. I encourage everyone to stand up. I encourage everyone to celebrate in the name of Jesus with clapping, with singing, with joy, with smiles in their faces. I heard one phrase when I was scrolling through Instagram. 
The man said, the devil is after you because you chose to worship Jesus. Because, because it's by choice that you celebrate salvation. We chose Jesus by ourselves, yeah? Like we chose to believe in God ourselves, with our own hearts, yeah? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, only one chose Jesus by herself? Like, chose to believe in Jesus? Only one? Yeah. I will repeat the question. Does everyone believe they are saved in Jesus' name? Yes! Louder! Yes! Yes, and now we will celebrate. Amen? Yes. Amen. So the song we will be singing, it is entitled, Jesus Celebrate, Jesus Celebrate. Okay? In Hungarian, it's Bunebel. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got both. <laughs> In Hungarian, it's Unepel Jesus Unepel. And since we will be dancing, I prepare the step. Yeah. So everybody, have your hands like this. And then clap it like this. And then as we say, everybody, this will be a trial one, okay? Let's sing all together.
for this wonderful morning, Jesus. Thank you for the celebration that we had, Lord God. And now forever, we will glorify you, Jesus. We will continue to sing your praise, O oh God. We'll continue to give you worship, Lord. For forever you will be glorified, O oh God. We will continue to extol you with all our minds, Lord. In Jesus' name.
Thank you for your touch upon everyone, oh God. As we continue to listen to your word, Lord God, let there be celebration in our hearts that it may lead to us, oh God, to forever exalt your name and to extol your name higher than above all names, oh God. That this will equip us, Lord, as we continue to move forward, oh God. As we listen to your word, open up our hearts, oh God. And let us receive it with joy and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
today we will choose to obey you. We will choose to follow you and to follow your word and your instructions, Father Lord. Even as you've spoken to us today, we pray, O oh Lord, that even the little things that you have entrusted us to do, that we will be faithful in them, O oh Father, knowing that, Lord, it is worth it to obey you, O oh Lord, above all else, Lord Jesus. And also knowing that before you, obedience is greater than sacrifice. And so, Father, Lord, we pray that if there be anything, O oh Lord Jesus, that has made us to turn away from you, to turn away from your instructions, to turn away from your word, Father, Lord, we pray that, Lord, here we are again, O oh Lord, that you will use us, O oh Lord, you will send us, O oh Father, Lord, and that even through us, many more will be blessed, O oh Lord. We pray even for our decisions, O oh Father, Lord, that, Lord, we will not rely on our own selves, we will not rely on our strength, but that, Lord, we will step in faith and De declare this life before you, O Lord, and let it out for you, O Lord Jesus. And trust that, Lord, you are with us and you are for us, O Lord Jesus. That you lead us, O Lord, even now in the days ahead, O Father, Lord. And so, Lord, we pray that if there be anything, O Lord Jesus, that is taking our peace, O Lord Jesus, our faith to trust again in you, that, Father, Lord, may you renew us again, O Lord Jesus. That, Lord, we will look to you, O Lord, and that we will obey even as Peter was, O Lord Jesus. Even in the moments where you might not understand that Father Lord Jesus will have the faith and will obey your instructions, O Lord. Thank you, O Lord Jesus, for your word. And we pray ahead, O Father Lord, that daily, O Lord, we'll be conscious of your word, we'll be conscious of your voice, we'll be conscious of your Holy Spirit, O Lord, that he will not be grieved, O Lord, he will not be quenched, but that daily, O Lord, we'll yield to go deeper, deeper in prayer, deeper in your word, deeper to know you, O Lord, so we can understand you to obey you, O Lord Jesus. Thank you, O Father, Lord, for your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a nice week, everyone.